All right, so things are going pretty smoothly. Um, let me see if I can get this camera down there. Um, right now, I'm just about to drop the upper or lower oil pan. Well, I dropped the oil pan already, but the lower portion of the block I'm going to be dropping right now. And I let me see if I can show you. But there's a lot of metal shavings in my, my oil pan. I kind of drenched it all right now. Oh, there. Maybe we can see it. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you can see all that. I th I'm hoping that's what I think it is. And if it is, great. If it's not, well, great. <laughs> I hope I'm just honestly not wanting to invest in another motor. Um, so apparently... I was doing a lot of research and rod bearings could be going or are definitely bad or probably blown out and that's what I'm hoping for if it is great um, maybe I can get a few more miles on this motor until I can invest in the new one but just right now I do not want to invest in the new one I do have another one but the other one I have is a non rev up motor so you know that's the ones with the dual cams. I mean, these cars don't come with dual cams, but um, one with the two sensors in the front and then two in the center in the back. The non rev up has one sensor in the front and one in the back. So, what I'm hoping for is that it's my rod bearings and that it's a simple job and not worse than what it is. Jeez. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started and start taking this apart. Listen. After failing for the past hour and a half, maybe an hour, not an hour and a half, an hour or so, um, I'm just going to call it a night and try to finish it up tomorrow because one, I'm hungry, two, I can't see as much, and I don't want to pry something in and then break something. So I have enough time to finish and wait and be patient, so I'm just going to try to get, get to it tomorrow, maybe call a friend, see if they can help me pry it off, um, probably do some searching, but I'm hoping... It is what it is that I searched and what I'm listening to and hearing, it sounds the same as like, you know, what I'm hearing from other sources and videos and stuff. Um, so, yeah, and then I'll try it again tomorrow and see how it goes. Wow, I was not recording that whole process, I'm sorry. But finally found the point where I can um, get this guy out. So, if your lower oil pan is on, just stick something i stuck a 3 8 ratchet um extension bar in here and pried it from from out and in so it came off nice and smoothly a lot easier than me trying to pry it up on like points up here so um yeah so right now i'm in the process of trying to figure out if it is a rod bearing or not so kind of hoping it is that way I can at least get through this motor for maybe a, a year or something
part turns out I'm going to be replacing my main bearings which are the upper portion of the rod and my lower bearings or the rod, rod bearings too so uh yeah they're all pretty bad I took that one apart and then um it was shifted up so I figure I might as well just replace all the bearings since I'm down here so I'll have to do it again so I'm kind of nervous about this process but also kind of like excited to see how uh, if it fixes the issue also so hopefully I'm not having to get a new motor so gonna have to get back to it tomorrow I called O'Reilly's to have new rods come in or new rod bearings come in and I'm about to wait till tomorrow to finish up everything so I was going to order some stuff from Z1 where they had uh, their own rod bearings and stuff, but I don't have time to wait that long. And I don't know the lifespan of this motor yet. So I don't know my plans with this car yet. Kind of want to replace the motor and build one on the side, which the one I have is over there. Yo, okay, so we're finally getting done. This project or job actually is taking me a lot longer than I thought. So I'm actually on my week, um, week and a half maybe. Um, no, probably about a week, sorry. Um, just waiting for parts to come in. Ordered some, reordered some ACL bearings. Um, I called, I got in touch with Z1 Motorsports is where all or a majority of the parts I ordered from and they told me that um, the, the bearings that I ordered which were King's Racing bearings aren't going to come until December because they're on a huge back order and they're out of stock of those bearings so I was like you know what is any by chance you guys have any replacements or anything that's equivalent to those, racing, those type of style of rod bearings that I need um, so they had ACLs in stock so I had these came in and super happy I'm hoping this is an issue hopefully that hopefully that fixes the rod knock and if it doesn't um, I might have to do a motor rebuild or find a new motor and put it in there so happy to get started hopefully this fixes the issue gaskets are on the front portion of the pan, back portion of the pan, and then these two oil gaskets that are in the middle of the pan too. So those are in kind of jumped ahead because I kind of want to just get this done and completed. So apologize for that, I'm not showing everything. But we're almost there, boy. Almost there. 